Welcome to Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss. I am your host, Matt Berry. Now, for those of you who watch the program here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas, we're joined every week by future Hall of Famer and DeMarcus Ware. What we did, we traded the future Hall of Famer for a week for an actual Hall of Famer, Tony Dorsett. My first question for you tonight, what's it like doing the show with a broadcasting Hall of Famer? It's Pat, it's Summerall. Summerall. Summerall's here? Oh, wait, it's Pat. Okay. Every week, no respect. Inside the Huddle starts now. Inside the Huddle, hosted by DeMarcus Ware and Jay Ratliff. Recorded live Monday nights at House of Blues in Dallas. Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss Dental, a new experience in dentistry. Now, here's your host, Matt Berry. It is another edition of Inside the Huddle presented by Floss from House of Blues here in downtown Dallas. I am your host, Matt Berry. Once in a while here on the program, we put together a really, really fine lineup. We set upstairs a second ago. DeMarcus Ware usually joins us, Jay Ratliff. But we've put something together really special tonight. We're going to call it Legends Night here on Inside the Huddle presented by Floss. You met him upstairs. Tony Dorsett and his guest tonight, the original 88. Put your hand together for two Super Bowl champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Dorsett and Drew Pearson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's it like just being with your former teammates? It's always good to see uh, some of the guys that I play with, especially number 88, the original 88. Uh, you know, when I, I go back and I, I just think about my rookie year and and um, as, as a wide-eyed rookie, you know, playing for the Dallas Cowboys and watching the consummate pro, mm -hmm. I see how he prepared and how he pre prepared himself for games or during the week. Uh, it's always great to be with guys like that. And yeah. Drew, were you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's what's good about a lot of us being still in the Dallas-Fort Worth area because when we get opportunities like this to be around each other, it makes it be pretty special because – People ask me where I go, you know, everywhere I go. Have you seen Tony Dorsett? And I start to think, no, I haven't seen him in a while, <laughs> you know. So it's good to see him tonight, right on. Yeah, all right, bro. Now, did you ever think back in the 70s when you guys were playing for the Cowboys that his head would ever be bald? Because <laughs> hey, the, the fro the back Afro, in the, the day. Afro oh, that he had. Man. I was just wondering how in the hell he put that helmet on. <laughs> I mean, because that, that thing was special, yeah, was, Drew. You should have rocked thick. that a little longer. Well, I wish I could have. I would rock it now if <laughs> the good lord let me but you know i you know you see these helmets now they look like these space helmets space you helmets, know they're yeah. so big and they got all these holes and different designs but the helmet i wore was you know there's a suspension type uh, support system uh -huh. inside and the only reason every year the cowboy training really? staff or equipment staff would try to get me out of this helmet but i couldn't wear anything else because the hair was there. Go ahead and dive right into the Monday Night Football game, the uh, Cowboys and Bears. I think just from my perspective, just looking at this team, you, you got to have some more leaders. See, leadership is, is, is slacking a little bit. I think they just got to get more leadership, get the preparation get uh, taken care of because and, and, they got talent. Right. And, and the most discouraging thing about it all is to see that kind of talent that they have on both sides of the line of scrimmage and to see them go out and play like that. I think this is uh, the day's NFL, you know, especially early in the season. Mm -hmm. The teams are going to be up and down, you know. I think half of, more than half of the NFL right now has a losing record yeah. or at 500. Mm -hmm. So, you know, teams, I think, are feeling each other out or feeling themselves out, and they're trying to create their own identity. And hopefully that's what we're seeing with the Cowboys. I'm not being a Romo apologist here, but if you take a look at five of those interceptions, I would put – Two on him. I want you guys to speak to what you saw, particularly, I believe it was the first one, the Des Bryant, where Des did a hitch and go. Romo threw the hitch. Tillman returns it for a pick six. Obviously, the receiver was wrong in that situation. He's got to read that situation. Romo almost gave him a handwritten note to let him know <laughs> that he's coming to him, you know, and he almost described the route with his hands. Right. And, uh, but Dez didn't read it that way, and that mistake is so costly. And it's even costly even further because, man, the trust between a receiver and quarterback is so important. You know, the, the, the reason Roger trusted me so much is not the catches I made, mm -hmm. is that he knew I was going to protect that football and not let anybody else catch it. Mm -hmm. And so to be in the right place to do that. So it's a combination of the uh, – 
quarterback and a receiver being on the same page and having that trust. But it was nice to see Romo still going back to Dez right. later in the football game. So that trust wasn't shattered, but I'm sure it was dented a little bit. Tony, they've got a running back in DeMarco Murray. What do you see about number 29 that you particularly like that he can do for this team? DeMarco Murray, in my opinion, uh, has the ability to be one of, the, one of the better running backs in the National Football League, but it takes help. It takes help for DeMarco Murray. It takes help for Tony Romo. Mm -hmm. if, and it all starts up front. And, and let's be real about it and, and be blunt about it. The offensive line has to do better. DeMarco Murray has the ability to be a great back in the National Football League, barring injury, and we got to keep him healthy. Another House of Blues concert to promote October 16th. Drew, this is his favorite group, uh, Sleigh Bells. <laughs> this is Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. We'll be back after Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Albertsons Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. It means a great deal. Pepsi, official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. And oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. When I'm at Cowboys Stadium or sitting at home, and I hear Papa John's pizza for Jerry Jones, yo, it lights me up like a Roman candle with toppings and flavor almost too good to handle. Cowboys, five stars, what I get. It's like a Papa John's Pepsi, double threat. Get a Papa John's large with up to five toppings and a two-liter Pepsi. People are swapping because there's no better value. Y'all catch my ride. Cowboys, five-star combo for $10.99. Hi there, this is Jason Witten. When it comes time to shop for my tailgate favorites on game day, I go to my store, Albertson's Market. I know they have the freshest produce and serve only USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. If you want to get ready for game day like me, just come to my store and get 10% off your groceries every Dallas Cowboys game day when you wear your Cowboy jersey. Albertson's Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. Albertson's Market, it means a great deal. A micro scission was all it took. One simple micro scission procedure and the pain was gone. A tiny incision had me pain free the same day. Micro scission is the most advanced spine procedure, allowing us to treat our patients in the least invasive way possible. We've made minimally invasive even less invasive. If you've been suffering from back or neck pain and haven't found relief, visit fixspinepain.com or call 855 4 fix spine and find out about the new micro scission procedure. I decided to open a studio Pilates bar at Preston Forest after having done the workouts with Sebastian Legree and becoming addicted to his workouts. I've created the Mega Former to do the Degree Fitness workout. It works the entire body from head to toe. I feel fatigued but in all the right places. I think that the environment would motivate anybody and you walk out of here feeling really, really good about yourself. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Maximum Sports, your travel connection to all the Cowboy games. HMS, helping people get out of the rent race. Microcision, we've made minimally invasive even less invasive. And Enchanted Rock Texas Vodka, it's not how you roll, it's how you rock. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. I am your host, Matt Berry. I am joined by two Super Bowl champions up here, <laughs> Cowboys legends, Tony Dorsett and Drew Pearson. What have you been doing since life after football? Well, I've been through the whole gamut. I'm pretty much, you know, <laughs> owning my businesses, so doing some other businesses, helping other people with businesses. Um, now I'm married. I got uh, three daughters at home and uh, pretty much semi-retired now. I do... I, I do um, some brokering, so mm -hmm. to speak, putting people together on a couple of deals. But um, I have uh, at home a 20-year-old daughter, a 13-year-old daughter, and a 9-year-old daughter. I'm going through a lot of soccer games. I'm going through a lot of uh, volleyball games and basketball games. Uh, and uh, trying to keep Mama happy, too. You may have a more stressful <laughs> life now than you did when you were playing. You need to pray for me because, you know, a man with three, three women and uh, the, the only other testosterone I have in my house is a, a little four-and-a-half-pound Yorkie. So, you know. That sounds pretty fierce. It's got, so, yeah. it's got, I'm outnumbered, man, and I get voted down. I get outvoted a lot. Now, uh, <laughs> if there are any bachelors out there, 
you know, maybe mm. looking to court a Dorset daughter. <laughs> I'm not going to encourage it. And don't look at me like that. Wait, I'm not scared. Don't, don't go there. But you got a couple out let's, there. Let's, let's play a hypothetical <laughs> game. What would win Daddy Dorset's endorsement of, say, taking one of, one of your daughters to a movie? A nice, clean, well-dressed uh, no, no pants hanging down on, up, down on, on the hips and below the butt. So when a, you know, a, a prospect boyfriend comes to the door, do you come down in your football well, uniform? Oh, I come down, I come down and I look at him, and uh, I've, uh, I've called, I've, I've answered the door and said, hey, you know, and I let him in, and my daughter got a little upset at me after he left because I wasn't real friendly. I said, well, I'm not trying to be his friend. I don't, I don't want to be his friend just yet. I want to make sure he treats you right before Amen. I become his friend. Any particular funny stories where a, a boyfriend or a guy wanted to date the daughter comes in and tries to be all football-y with you? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't funny, but I, this guy came to my house. and um, This will be good. He was in my pantry. I mean, he just walked into the kitchen, and he, he walked in. and went, I just for, for one, I was figuring out, how the heck did he know that's the pantry door? He just went in and pulled open the pantry and walked in and started get, grabbing snacks and all that. And I was like, um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, did you ask for anybody? To, can you go in that pantry and, and, and get what you want out of here? I said, uh, normally over here, we, we, uh, we'll come and we'll offer you something. But you just don't come <laughs> in my house and just make it yourself at home. And he, my daughter was like, I was like, yeah, you just don't come here. And he was like, he was, I mean, I pet, I was scared. He's petrified. All right, Drew, what about you? What have you, you been up to in the post playing? Well, days? first of all, I raised two daughters already. So, and they're married. Uh-huh. And through the whole process, I, I didn't trust any man with them. And I, they're married, and I still don't trust those guys. <laughs> I, you know, I wonder why we're that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because yeah. we know how we are. I've been doing some uh, media stuff, mm -hmm. some radio and TV stuff for a while, and had my run in business and had some ups and downs there, trying to weather s still through some of the downs and mm -hmm. things that caused. But, you know, pretty much like Tony, pretty much uh, semi-retired, looking into taking pension down, looking into... <laughs> What's yeah. available in Social Security and yeah. Medicare, and <laughs> Medicare, stuff Medicaid. like that. And time to uh, maybe soon to, you know, put the butt down and the feet up. When we come back on Inside the Huddle presented by Floss, we're going to have some fun talking about these guys. It's the biggest difference between football now and football then, other than you can, well, we're back after the break right here on Inside yeah, the Huddle presented by right. Floss. <laughs> Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. Polytronics, privacy at the flip of a switch. Rebecca Creek Whiskey, simply Texas in a glass. Tin Tin Collins, the largest entertainment center in Arlington, across from Cowboys Stadium. And Status Custom Shop, creating rolling art. Well, the home that we purchased is amazing. It's in a beautiful community. It's like a resort. Um, the house is a one-story house, big, a beautiful kitchen, places for the kids to play. They have everything that the kids could possibly think of doing in the community. Why make the landlord richer? Put us to the test. Get out of the rent race. Call HMS. Rediscover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico, the place you thought you knew. Hi there, this is Jason Witten. You know, on the football field, I like to be known as the go-to guy. Just like Albertson's Market is the go-to place for beef, especially since they only sell the best. USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. USDA Steakhouse Choice Premium Beef at Albertson's Market is always tender and always full of flavor. So when you want a tender, juicy steak, go to the go-to place for USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. Albertson's Market. Albertson's Market. It means a great deal. 
A microcision was all it took. One simple microcision procedure and the pain was gone. A tiny incision had me pain free the same day. Microcision is the most advanced spine procedure, allowing us to treat our patients in the least invasive way possible. We've made minimally invasive even less invasive. If you've been suffering from back or neck pain and haven't found relief, visit FixSpinePain.com or call 855-4-FIX-SPINE and find out about the new microcision procedure. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Floss Dental, a new experience in dentistry. Albertson's Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. It means a great deal. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center at the northwest corner of Preston Road and Forest Lane. Venture, your first choice for corporate and leisure transportation. And by Global Media Design, custom web development specializing in website design, social media, and e-commerce solutions applications. Hello there, we are back on Inside the Huddle presented by Floss here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. I am your host, Matt Berry. That is 33, Tony Dorsett. That is the original 88, Drew Pearson. They are both Super Bowl champions with your Dallas Cowboys. Now, other than the, the games being in color and not in black and white, what's the biggest difference with foot? <laughs> I'm kidding. You're cold-blooded, man. I'm kidding. But what is the biggest difference between football as we sit here today than it was back in your guys' era? Well, like we were saying, obviously the money. Um, from my perspective, I just think attitudes are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think part of the reason is because of the money, but it had to go that way. I mean, players are, are, are what you come to the stadiums to see, so they, they got to get their fair share of the revenue. But I think added, the attitudes have changed tremendously because of the money. We had a lot more pride in, in preparing, in pre pre preparing ourselves for games, and we took our job seriously. Uh, today, I think uh, the attitudes are a little bit different, a little bit different, but also – Players, I mean, when I look at the game, the players are bigger, bigger and stronger. But, but I kind of feel I, I, I experienced somewhat of the evolution of, of, of football from, from a size, size per perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came into the league, big linemen was 250, 275. When I left, they were, they were over 300 pounds. But linebackers, man, they got linebackers now, man, that are about 250, 260, and they run as fast as, as running backs. Right. So the game has gotten a little bit bigger. Also, I think uh, the movement, you know, the free agency makes right. it different. You don't have the same team continuity, the same players year in and year out. And that movement even is in the coaching area. The coaches move a lot. And, you know, how many offensive coordinators has Romo had in the nine years he's been here? You know, right. lately it's been, you know, with Jason Garrett the sure. last three for sure. But, you know, that's, that's the change in the NFL. And what that does is – it affects the game. Mm -hmm. You know, me and Tony come into training camp every year, same guys in the huddle, same offensive coordinator and Coach Landry, same system, same way of doing things, and that type of thing. So that continuity uh, breeded better production out there on the field, fewer mistakes. I could never see myself making a mistake like that was made last night in the passing game, mm -hmm. not making an adjustment like that. Uh, that is just a cardinal sin that would never happen. You know, we, it's not that we didn't make mistakes, right. but no blatant adjustment mistakes like that. And as Tony said, the players are a little different. I think they play, and I don't know, you know, maybe we would have done the same thing with the money that's available. Mm -hmm. They play for that big contract. Well, you know, I don't know, I don't know, man. I think our attitudes are different. Plus, plus I think... Coaching has a lot to do with it, too, yeah. and who, who's yeah. coaching you, the type of respect yeah, you have for your coach. Eat. Is it because there's too many ancillary distractions outside of the game of football, whereas back in the day you guys really treated it like a lunch pail type job? They're accessible to a lot more than we were able to accessible because of the money sure. that they have. You know, if we ever, ever got four days off, oh, man, Coach Landry would give us – a day off, then go to work. Uh, yeah. A day off, then yeah, go to work. It, it would up. never be consecutively because yeah. this is a, this is the time of year. You don't. I don't even want four days off because yeah. I wouldn't trust myself to stay in shape through that period of time. Sure. You know, I would tr I would be fearful of losing an edge that I've already gained from the tough losses, the training camps, mm -hmm. all these things that supposed to make me mentally tough. 
now I got all this off time, I'm kicking back and oh, by the way, there's a season still to play. <laughs> yeah. How do you get them to understand that what they're doing is special? Even back in the day, don't throw the football in the stands. Have your socks right, yeah. you know? <laughs> show the emblem and all this. Don't have your shirt hanging out and all that. First of all, they remember the uh, stick em, you know? Sure. They used to have all over uniform. The only reason that was outlawed is because it made the uniforms look ugly. It didn't have nothing to do with the <laughs> players or whatever. It was about the look, the appearance. It didn't look good. And uh, we understood that. And, of course, being a Dallas Cowboy and Coach Landry, wow, you know, we were, we were the forefront of that. Sure. You know, we were the forefront of doing it the right way. And we were always the example back then. That's why we were called America's team. America's team. They were the birthplace of it. That'll be, we'll be right back. Final thoughts. And nobody else in the NFL Georgia ever was called Andrew that. Pearson, the America's team duo. We're back after the break. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. And Maximum Sports, your travel connection to all the Cowboy games. When I'm at Cowboys Stadium or sitting at home, and I hear Papa John's Pizza for Jerry Jones, yo, it lights me up like a Roman candle with toppings and flavor almost too good to handle. Cowboys, five stars, what I get. It's like a Papa John's Pepsi, double threat. Get a Papa John's large with up to five toppings and a two-liter Pepsi. People are swapping because there's no better value. Yo, catch my ride. Cowboys five-star combo for $10.99. I've been renting my whole life, so I figured that uh, before I go out and rent another uh, location, I'd just come down, sit down, kind of see where I'm at, and to my surprise, and got approved, and started looking at houses, and went to have a brand new house, and I'm single, and I'm very pleased with HMS. Why make the landlord richer? Put us to the test. Get out of the rent race, call HMS. I decided to open a studio, Pilates Bar at Preston Forest. After having done the workouts with Sebastian Legree and becoming addicted to his workouts. I've created the Mega Former to do the Degree Fitness workout. It works the entire body from head to toe. I feel fatigued but in all the right places. I think that the environment would motivate anybody and you walk out of here feeling really, really good about yourself. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center. Rediscover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico, and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico, the place you thought you knew. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by HMS, helping people get out of the rent race. Microcision, we've made minimally invasive even less invasive. Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. And Polytronics, privacy at the flip of a switch. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center at the northwest corner of Preston Road and Forest Lane. <laughs> you catch me. That was like number 88. <laughs> hello Dallas, hello House of Blues, hello Inside the Huddle presented by Floss, I am Matt Barry, Drew Pearson, Tony Dorsett. Uh, we, we bring this up all the time where we air on Fox Sports Southwest every week. Drew and Tony, we are actually worldwide, did you know that? This thing that wasn't around when you guys were playing the internet, the interweb, uh, www.cowboyslive.com. You can watch the show live each and every week. Uh, a viewer submits a question and... Off we are. This question, believe it or not, comes from Germany. All right? This is from Hans Schmidt from Germany. <laughs> sure, right. Look, this that's is... A, that's I, like, I, that's I, like John Smith. In I read, in look, I, <laughs> he would a, like to know, <laughs> what was your best moment wearing a Dallas Cowboys uniform? Well, Hans... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, when you, when you come into this league, I mean, it's, it, everybody's, uh, you know... Everybody's wanting to get to the big kahuna, which is me become world champion. And as a rookie, you know, uh, coming to the National Football League and, and going to the Super Bowl and winning it, 
um, was a big thrill for me. It's something that you'll you remember for the rest of your life. Drew? Yeah, uh, that was a special moment. That was Tony's rookie year, yeah. man. We won Super Bowl twelve, and I had played in 10. We lost that. Uh, but to, to define one moment, man, is, is very hard because I had a lot of special moments. 11-year career, uh, seven NFC Championship games, you know, three Super Bowls. Uh, but nothing will ever beat that moment when I first stepped on the field. It, my first NFL game regular season was in Soldier Field in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And Dick Bucket was, Buckus was still playing. <laughs> and he was growling from sideline to sideline. And I'm hoping that Otto Stowe and Mike Montgomery, the two guys ahead of me, would not get hurt so I would have to go in there. <laughs> and this I'm like saying to myself on the sideline, this is the NFL. People are all in a panic right now because the Cowboys are 2-2. Two and two. To end the show, each of you one nugget that the Cowboys can take into the bye week take on to the second part of the season, especially with that gauntlet-type schedule they have coming up? You know, and I, I know these guys know it. You know, and this is not a sprint. This, this is a marathon. Uh, but these next four games are going to be very important for them, for, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for how they're going to finish up the, uh, the season. Uh, if they can come into this with this bye week, you know, and get some things, work on some things that uh, they're really lacking in this past ball game, and if they can get in these next four games and they can win three of these next four, mm -hmm. then I think some good things can happen for this team. Yeah, I just think they need to stay together, weather each and every storm together. You know, don't turn on each other. Let us, the media, turn on them, okay? Right. <laughs> you know, they play a game, we're all, you know, excited about it. And then they play a lousy game, we're all negative in that in that regard but they just need to stay together keep that locker room together mm -hmm. and Absolutely. not worry about what everybody else is saying around them and about them and that type of thing uh, because they're going to be opinions and it, they're everywhere but if they stay together they'll overcome that and bring that chemistry together and know and know that'll pay off for them in the long run well gentlemen i know i speak on behalf of everyone here it's been a pleasure sitting up here talking football with two legends of the game not only the dallas cowboys but of the game round of applause for tony dorsett and Drew Pearson. it's been another house of blues concert the script on 1029 a special thank you to ray salinas dreamfly productions 10 nichols Payne, shannon cook our great great guest tonight i am matt barry we'll see everybody next week right Woo! here on inside the huddle presented by Inside the Huddle has been presented by Floss Dental, Albertson's Market, Pepsi, Papa John's, 7-Eleven, Maximum Sports Connection, HMS, Microcision, Enchanted Rock Vodka, Apple Vacations, Polytronics, Rebecca Creek Whiskey, Status Custom Shop, Venture Sedan and Limousine Service, 1010 Collins, The Pilates Bar, and Global Media Designs. Inside the Huddle has been a presentation of Ray Salinas Sports Media Incorporated and Dreamfly Productions.